Michael Lanquist, a senior at Nevis, recently finished his high school basketball career with a list of accomplishments that would make any player envious. All conference honors, a starter on two state tournament teams, and a 1,500 point score. But what separates Michael from the rest of his peers is his resiliency and determination that helped him overcome some of the greatest obstacles that you could imagine. When Michael Lanquist walked off the court for the final time this year, it was an emotional end to his senior season. Even more emotional given that his season almost didn't happen. I'm blessed to be out here and I'm lucky to have the chance to do it again, so... I don't know, it was just... Oh. A car accident last March, Michael slid into a truck, pinning his car and breaking his pelvis, femur, humerus, and nose. I like, blacked out after I got hit and I thought it was a dream at first. I didn't really know what was going on. It was surreal. They couldn't get him out. They tried. It took about 20 minutes. And any time they tried to move him, he just screamed out in pain because his whole left side was basically shattered. Even the surgeon was amazed that he survived the impact. After a five-hour surgery, the road to recovery began, both to get him back on his feet and walking, which would take over three months, and to get him back on the court. Michael was so scared through the process that he would not be able to play again. And we were very vocal with all the doctors that uh, this is something this kid wants to do. So when you're putting it back together, make sure that this is how we get this stuff done. I had a lot of tough nights sitting in my room with my mom, but she was always there every time. And I didn't, because I, I had no idea if I could do it. I had no idea if I could get better, but yeah, there's some tough nights. Supporting Michael in his recovery was the community of Nevis. Visiting him in the hospital, sending him hundreds of cards, hosting fundraisers that raised tens of thousands of dollars, and picking him up when he needed it most. It's Nevis strong, and no matter how much we get knocked down or how many things happen to us, um, we stick together, we come together. We couldn't have done it without the support of Nevis and the surrounding areas. It was amazing how everybody came together. It was a blessing. I didn't think that many people like knew about me or anything, but like all the cards and text messages and everything, I just didn't know that many people cared. It just made me think like that they're all there for me and I gotta get better. One major milestone in his recovery came last May at his prom, where Michael walked in public for the first time since his accident. He told his therapist that it was goal to walk at prom, and he did it. It was pretty awesome. I mean, that was a moment in time. There wasn't like a dry eye in the house, and it was just a huge um, moment in his life, and his, especially in his recovery. It was a question whether he would ever be able to play basketball again, but through hard work and determination, Michael was able to rejoin his team. I needed something to push me to do my exercises every day, and that was the motivation I needed to get back in the court. He's been a player that has probably experienced as much basketball-wise as any kid would hope to. He is a huge contributor for us on our team and with our program and has been, and so I couldn't be happier. I just think about basketball. I don't think about any of the bad things that happened. Just to see him play again and this twinkle in his eye and him, you know, going after the ball. Um, he used to be a little bit hesitant in the beginning, but as the season has built, you can see him just going. All the adversity that Michael has gone through has given him a new outlook on life. And his friends and family hope that he can be an inspiration to those facing obstacles in their lives. Everything's there and you gotta take advantage of it. Like you don't know anything bad could happen or you don't know when you can lose something, so live in the moment. Never know what you are capable of. You know, no matter how far you get pushed down, no matter how bad it looks, you can get up, you can keep going, you can keep playing, you can keep fighting. And Michael's proof of that. Michael will attend St. Cloud Community and Technical College next year, where he plans to study business and hopes to continue his basketball career. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.